It's 2013, and with every passing year, classrooms across the country are learning less with pencil and paper and more with electronic devices. I spoke to Joe Griggs and Alexander Hall, and he explained how this new technology will help the academic growth of future generations of students. I am here with Mr. Griggs, who has a pretty unique job. Uh, we just spoke with someone else as well. Kind of talk about what it is that your job entails. Uh, with the iPads, what I've been doing, of course, is working with teachers in one of the area schools uh, with, uh, and with their students directly uh, with the iPads. We, we furnish them with 30 iPads at the beginning of the school year, and they, that teacher shares them with the rest of the school. So. They're used every day by somebody in the school, every period pretty much. Uh, nine different teachers that I know of have used them in both math and English, social studies, science, all areas, including special education. Um, so I, I basically, when they're working with the iPads, uh, go along and just, if they have any questions, I will answer them. Now, with the iPads, you know, we obviously know there are huge benefits with that. Is it going to be a route that's cheaper in the future to go with iPads rather than textbooks? Or how do you see this, I mean, where do you see iPads going in the future? Well, I've read that some schools are going that way because they think it may be uh, cheaper. Right. Um, if, if it's a very large school system, and particularly and they have different types of computers that they have acquired over the years in different schools, then maybe some of them might be Apple, some, some uh, PCs. Right. But by going with the iPads universally throughout the schools, then they think that might be a cheaper way to furnish uh, the, that technology to, to the students. And of course, as we go more and more paperless, uh, I think it's gonna show up there because a lot of the assignments they can do now, they can just send them directly to the, to the teacher through different right. apps. And they're doing that even. She's having them send them assignments with, with the different apps. She has, uh, she's using an app called Ed Edmono, and and they have they've already have the someone's written an app for for Study Island, which is the one that you buy, and they already had that, but now they have the app to go with it, so they can just fit it right into the pr program, and the students can do work on the uh, on a quiz or a test or part of Study Island, and then it just goes right to her computer, already already graded. It also tracks the students, so she knows what they need to be on next. Everybody that's on that program is working at their own pace, their own level, so they're not all doing the same thing. That is just so crazy. It's amazing what the world has come to. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of that, where do you see it going? I mean, you kind of said that eventually it, it might take over, but I mean, do you, do you think there will still be the paper and pen? I can't myself, since I grew up that way, and since I mm -hmm. would still want a little bit of that, I, I can't see that just totally going away, right. but I do think we're going less and less of right. paper. And, I can see that ha happening. Do you yeah. find that um, you know most students are just comfortable with it and fit right in, or are there some that kind of struggle with that? I haven't noticed any students that didn't look comfortable with the iPad. And they love it. They, I mean, it, to them it wasn't even a challenge or anything. The the teacher, you know, maybe at first if they get used to it, it's a little bit of a challenge, and and they have to find the apps and whatever. Right. They have to monitor the students to make sure they're on task. You know, they're not going playing a game or something like right. it. But the students really just seem to know exactly what to do with it. They know all the little tricks to, to go from one app to the, to the next and get, get where they want to be on the right. right. So they, they, they love it. I don't, I don't think there would be a problem with the students uh, fitting in. Definitely. So. Well, it opens up so many opportunities. And yeah. it's such a great thing you all are doing. And we can't wait to hear more and see where it goes. Thank you.